A few weeks ago, this E50 ML crimping tool from Klauke rocked up here at Lineside Studios. And let me tell you, nothing stops the work on what we should be doing than a new tool showing up. So we had to put it to work straight away. And the results we teased out in a short video because we used this just to terminate one of those red insulated crimps that I'm sure everybody uses. And oh, how the comments rolled in. You're crazy. You don't need an electric crimper on such small crimp terminals. A hand tool takes no effort. Well, this might be true if you're an occasional crimper, but what if you've got hundreds or even thousands of wires to crimp? Perhaps you're building up an electrical control panel or working in a repetitive production environment. So we thought a challenge was in order. We thought we'd put the whippersnappers, the younger people of the team to work crimping a load of red insulated terminals. So in this challenge, it's hand crimper versus the EK50 ML. Three, two, one, go. And while they are on with the mission, let's take a closer look at the tool. The tool has benefits even for the occasional crimper because you can use it with an incredible 50 different die tool crimp options. It's a straightforward process to change the crimping dies because they're held in place with these two knurled screws. Now, we've tried this out with a lot of the common cable applications that we have, including our favorite ferrules, which it can crimp up to 50 millimeter squared. The die I've got fitted at the moment will crimp either 10, 16, or 25 millimeter ferrule conductors. A quick switch of die, you can crimp ferrules from 0.75 to 10 millimeters. Moving on to copper tube or lug terminals, you can crimp up to 25 millimeter square conductor cables with this compression die. You can even get a cable cutting die, which is great if you have lots of larger cross-section cables to cut. And of course, you can crimp commonly used pre-insulated terminals. And speaking of pre-insulated terminals, let's have a look at how the challenge is going. Do you go to the gym often? I need a crimping machine in the gym, don't I? Tried to do my wrist crack then. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time for lunch, Rick. <laughs> Although this tool is battery powered, it still has the feel of a hand crimping tool. You set up and place the crimp as you would with a hand tool and then squeeze the trigger to complete the crimping process. Something Klauke call power sense. It sort of senses uh, the amount of force required, obviously, to finish the crimp terminal. It takes less than 1.5 seconds to complete a crimping cycle. It also feels well balanced. The tool weighs less than a kilo, including the battery, so it's great for hand use, but you can also stand the tool on the bench with a flat side of the battery. The tool also has an attachment on the back for use with lanyards or tool balancers. It's important to closely monitor crimp quality and enable traceability in regulated industries, thinking rail signaling, nuclear, and certain production environments. The red LED on the side here serves as a really clever interface to download information about tool usage to Klauke's iPress software. So this includes things like the number of crimp operations it's performed and the last service date. So you can almost issue a certificate in relation to a particular project or batch of production. Now, speaking of LEDs, as with almost every tool these days, it has a white LED to illuminate the work area. And of course, the battery has a charge level indicator. The 10.8 volt lithium ion batteries take about 45 minutes to charge. But during our tests, we performed hundreds of crimped operations without swapping out the battery. If you're interested in knowing more about the EK50 ML, the huge range of crimping dies, and of course that all important price, I've left a link in the description. If you've used this tool, let us know what you've used it for and any top tips that you found when you're using it. Now, if you work in repetitive production environments or wire huge control panels, I think this tool is a joint saver, something you might only realize when you get a bit of snow on the thatch and your hands really start to ache with that repetitive work. But what does it matter what I think? Let's hear from the challenge team. I think after crimping eight of those red terminals, 
but they'll be experts. There we go. That was your wrist, John. Yeah, it was starting to hurt near the end. It's out to crack a bit as well, so. Work out with your trigger finger. Yeah, it's all right. Not a problem. Good for another fighter. 